okay guys in this video I'm going to show you uh, just uh, quickly how you can uh, know whether a journal is indexed in Scopus or not and whether it's also indexed in uh, ISI or not all right so we are just going to begin with uh, ISI uh, how to know that a journal is indexed there or not okay so uh, now this is what you have to do if you are in Google and then uh, you type in web of science okay web of science journal master list if I click here it's going to bring me uh, to this place Okay, it's going to bring me here. Okay, so I'm going to find out if this journal is indexed. The journal of Education and Human Development is indexed or not. So I will just copy, I'll come back here, and then I'm going to paste it here and search. So no results found, okay? So it means that it's not indexed it's not indexed okay so now let's get this one here this is international journal of education and research so let's copy and then let's go back here let's paste it in and search and let's see okay so you see this is indexed right okay so if it's indexed it will show up here if it's not indexed, you will not find it here. All right, so that is how to find for ISI or Web of Science. Okay, now let's go to Scopus. Now for Scopus, uh, you need to search for scopus.com. You need to search for scopus.com. You need to search for scopus.com and then here on your left you have subject area title publisher ISSN so I'm going to choose ISSN and I'm going to paste the number I copied here okay so I'm going to cl click search find sources So now it's going to open. Let's see. Okay, still loading. Okay, so we look down here. This is the journal, the National Journal of Educational Research. This is it. So it means that this is indexed in Scopus. Okay, now let's go back to this journal. If I will copy this and then go back to Scopus, okay. And then I'm going to paste the ISSN number. Okay, so let's paste it here and then find sources. Okay, so we go down here, zero results. No sources were found. It means that this particular journal is not indexed in Scopus. Okay, so guys, that is how easy it is to find out whether a journal is indexed in Scopus or not. All right, so I hope this video uh, is helpful. So in another video, I'm going to show you how to look for a free journal. I know uh, some of you don't have so much money to spend on publishing paper. All right, so I'll show you how to find a free journal uh, to publish your paper. I have recently created a YouTube channel, so I'm going to uh, put this video in my YouTube channel and then I want you to uh, subscribe and then share and then like the videos uh, so that I can produce more content for you. And then I also want you to uh, be able to publish your paper. All right, so if, I'm, uh, if we are able to look for a free journal for you, it means that your only expense will be improving your paper yeah, because uh, most journal the publication rate or percentage is only 18 to 25 percent 
It means that if they accept 100 paper, they publish only 18 to 25 percent. All right, so it's really uh, a low percentage. Yeah, but uh, with our expertise, we can help you to uh, to be able to uh, prepare your paper and meet the standard of Scopus and ISI, so that when you submit your paper, your paper will not be rejected. Actually, we can also look for journals that have uh, acceptance rate of around 50%. Yeah, so that, uh, I mean, you have the higher chances of uh, getting your paper published. All right, so uh, get in touch. If you have any paper you want to publish, okay, you want to get published, uh, just it, uh, comment below and then we'll help you get that paper published. All right, this is the Tayoman. I'm signing off right now. Okay, thank you for watching.